So, when we first arrived, there was no water on the premises. Ah, the water was not turned on. And um, so, after a long day, come back and you tell us that the water has been turned on, which it has. And we got all excited because we we're so ready for a shower. But our shower doesn't work. So. Also, the toilet doesn't flush. The toilet doesn't flush either. So now we're collecting water. Gonna do the old fashioned missionary shower in a bucket method. <laughs> so we just had our bucket bath. It's amazing how much better you feel once you're clean. You know, the sunscreen off, and the bug spray, all the sticky, nasty stuff in the dirt, sweat. We have two very nifty little fans, and they're quiet. They're quiet fans. It's so great. So it's enough of a breeze, even though we don't have air conditioning. It's actually not too bad right now. So we had an interesting day. It's a lot of fun. Partied with the <laughs> African ladies, and I don't think I explained in the video at the time, but. Um, most of the ladies that 
were like dancing around and then all that stuff and leading the the singing and dancing and all that um most of them were widows and uh they take charge of basically taking care of the orphans as well and so they have a what would you call it a sewing ministry that they sew clothes for the orphans and from what i understand a team member of mine said that um each widow takes care of about 12 to 14 orphans just by herself like she's in charge of their well-being and all that it's insane to me but the thing was just blowing my mind today was just the joy that was in their spirit it was so awesome and so towards the end we didn't get any video of it obviously because i was basking in the moment but um i don't know why but for some reason they decided they really liked me and they kept getting a kick out of my name I guess there was one other Anna there, Anna, and um, she was the choir director, and um, the one of the elders' ladies, um, her daughter, that was her daughter, so when I introduced myself, she came up and said that, what did she call me, Cody? My daughter? <laughs> she said that basically adopted me kind of thing, so. <laughs> so I kept getting yanked, a little, yanked, that's a, not the right word, I get getting pulled into pictures and videos and stuff and I think partly too is because this part of the camp um, is run entirely by women because it's all just it's the widows and that's what they do is they take care of this whole section so I apparently was the first female that's come on any of our into wind trips to this specific area so they got a really big kick out of me being there <laughs> so anyway it's a lot of fun towards the end of the day we're walking back um, to our cars to go home and there was just a long procession of just singing and I mean I didn't understand the words but I totally knew it was worship and um, uh, holding hands with the ladies and dancing and it was just a lot of fun. At one point one lady and the Cody and I were walking holding hands at one point and I think they got a big kick out of that too because they really enjoyed the fact that we were a couple they were married and uh, so we're walking back holding hands and then this couple this lady um, came up between us and like separated us but then held each of our hands so we were like walking together swinging hands and <laughs> just a lot of fun right Cody he's like yes I'm tired but talk to me <laughs> so just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of explanation of what went on a little behind the scenes so uh, it's only 8 o'clock but I think we're going to go ahead and try to go to sleep because Oh my goodness, I'm exhausted. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you tomorrow. Bye.